Okay, this is my Midland Knoll weather radio. And I just uh, got it last year sometime to update my other one, which busted. And, you know, since really EAS activations really only happen around here in the summertime, in the spring sometimes, uh, I usually just shut it off for the winter. So uh, this would be the first... Uh, weekly alarm tone test for 2013 or 2013 or whatever you want to call it. They do them every Wednesday at noon. Just goes off. So any second now, this uh, weather radio will make a noise and Paul, the old Paul voice, will tell us what it's doing. So we just got to wait for it to happen since it's noon. Do 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 do. All right, this should be coming in about now. situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of these receivers normally are conducted by the National Weather Service every Wednesday around noon. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather in the area on Wednesday, the test is postponed until the next good weather day. The warning alarm transmitted over this and other NOAA radio stations in southern Wisconsin will normally be activated for watches and warnings that affect the following Wisconsin counties. Richland, Vernon, Adams, Juno, Marquette, Washera, Winnebago, Calumet, Manitowoc, Sauk, Columbia, Green Lake, Fond du Lac, Sheboygan, Dodge, Washington, Ozaukee, Iowa, Dane, Jefferson, Waukesha, Milwaukee, Lafayette, Green, Rock, Walworth, Racine and Kenosha, and the following Illinois counties, Stevenson, Boone, Winnebago, McHenry, and Lake, and all adjacent coastal waters of Lake Michigan. So that's pretty much uh, success.